slow down. Melissa! Just forget that this entire incident happened. Give me that ticket book. No, give it to me, officer. I can't believe you, mother. What is the problem now, Melissa? You tried on every single dress in there and you couldn't find one thing you liked? Really? <laughs> okay, well, I'm sorry, but I wanted to find the perfect dress for your cousin's wedding. You know your aunt. I'm just trying to keep the peace. I, I, I just don't want her to criticize the way I dress. All right, well, you took forever. And now I'm gonna be late for my nail appointment. We're gonna make it on time. <sighs> yeah, we will, if I drive. Excuse me? You drive slower than molasses. Keys, please. Uh, okay, here you go. Thank you. M Melissa, please just slow down. It's your fault we're gonna be late. Okay, you're driving like a maniac. Just relax. Melissa, slow down. God, come on, Mark, move! So what are you doing? Oh my God, no, you, no, you're not gonna make it through this light. Melissa! You just ran that red light. No, I didn't. It was yellow. It was red. It was yellow. Melissa! Okay, fine. It was orange, maybe. Oh, no. God, no, please. See? I told you it was a red light. I don't need this right now, Mother. <sighs> should have trusted my gut. I should have never let you drive. Okay. That is not helping. <sighs> oh, so now you need my help. Yes, please. Can you just show her your badge so we can get along our merry way? Oh, no, 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 honey. You're on your own here. <sighs> Mom, please. No, you're an adult. Handle your business. Hi, officer. Hello, miss. License and registration. Do you know why I pulled you over today? Uh, no. I believe I was going within the speed limit. No, actually, you were going 10 miles above the speed limit, but that's not why I pulled you over. You ran a red light back there. It was yellow. No, it was red. This is the correct address? Yes, officer. Okay, stay in the vehicle. I will be right back with your citation. Mom, please do something. She's giving me a ticket. Please, I'm begging you. Okay, relax. Mom to the rescue. Again. Excuse me, officer. Uh, miss, I told you to stay inside your vehicle. I'm Officer Kate Adams with the Mango Park Police Department. Hello, Officer Adams. Why didn't you identify yourself earlier? Well, I was uh, trying to teach my daughter a lesson. Anyway, um, I'm really sorry about the way she was driving, but I'm sure we can just forget that this entire incident happened. Shall we? Excuse me? Well, there's no need to write a citation. Actually, there is. Your daughter clearly ran a red light. Well, I, I And she was speeding. I clocked her doing a 45 and a 35. I was gonna let it go, but then she ran that red light. She gave me no choice. Actually, you do have a choice. And if I were you, I would think really hard about it before making it. Excuse me? How long have you been on the force, officer? Going on five months now. Okay, rookie, so please just listen to your superior officer. There's no reason to do this. You certainly don't need to write a ticket. And I'm warning you, if you do that and if you go down that road, there will be consequences. Consequences? Yeah, yeah, dire consequences. So take your little ticket book and put it away and walk back to your cruiser and get in your car and drive away and we're just gonna pretend that this whole thing never happened. And trust me, young lady, 
it is in your best interest to do so. Officer Adams, is it? Officer Kate Adams. And again, if you don't let my daughter and I go now, then I'm gonna be forced to call your sergeant. I mean, I, I'd hate to see you relegated to a desk job for like a year. I mean, that is if they don't suspend you. Are you threatening me? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just telling you like it is, officer. Okay, if you don't let us go, then I am forced to retaliate. And trust me, you don't want me on your bad side because I will make your life a living hell. I see. So I'm gonna issue your daughter two citations, one for speeding and one for running the red light. Are you out of your mind? Give me that ticket book. No, give it to me, officer. Stand down, give it to me. Are you proud of yourself, Officer Adams? Well, yeah, yeah, right now I am because you can't write my daughter a ticket, so yeah. Actually, I have another one in the car, so you can keep that one if it makes you feel better. Oh. And I don't know if you noticed or not, but I'm wearing a body cam. It's been recording ever since I stepped out of my vehicle. Smile for the camera. Oh, God. Okay, listen, we, 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 we don't... We don't have to make such a big deal about this after all, okay? No problem. So why don't you just delete this footage? And listen, we're just gonna keep this right between us, okay? Please. Please. So, how did it go? Did everything get taken care of? Oh yeah, everything got taken care of, all right. Here you go. And what's this? Two tickets, one citation for running the red light and the other citation for speeding. What, I got two tickets? Yeah. What did you say to her? I thought you were gonna get me out of this. Okay, well what does that teach you if I'm bailing you out all the time, Melissa? I mean, you have to face the consequences of your actions and, 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 and learn from your mistakes. And that's the little lesson for today. So you tried to intimidate her and it backfired, huh? Yeah, yeah. something like that. <laughs> Good job, Bob. Real smooth. Hey, this was not my fault. You're the one who ran the red light. It was orange. Oh, Melissa, just shut up and drive. <sighs>